Hey, what's up, viewers? My name is Estes K, and welcome to Fingerbones, a short psychological horror game by David Juzmanski. I hope apologize if I said that incorrectly, but this game's been getting some pretty good reviews recently, so I thought I'd check it out in this video, so without further ado, let's begin. Now, uh, this was originally, because I've been doing a lot of first impressions of indie games recently, a lot of you guys wanted me to do more of those, so that's what this was going to be, but apparently, like, like it says, this is apparently going to be a short game, uh, easily able to be finished in one sitting, so that's what we're going to try to do, so I guess we're going to finish the entire game, hopefully, in this episode. Um, I don't know much about this. It looks, wow, it looks very Minecrafty. Look at this. Look at that. It's very Minecrafty. Um, oh, what the heck? Okay, that's just, n <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, I don't know much about the game other than the trailer, which says that basically our, we have, uh, our character, we have lost our virginity at the age of 15, I think. And, uh, apparently, uh, we're getting that same, like, feeling whatever we felt the day we lost our virginity is the same feeling we're getting now in the cellar so I don't, I don't know what that means like does that mean oh it's a flashlight oh, interesting uh I, I don't know what that means i guess maybe our first love was with a ghost some kinky ghost stuff i don't know what is this so there's it's very minimalistic with controls so you just press um your, you click um on any object to interact with it I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother, a delicate, fragile version of mother. Damn her! <laughs> I don't know what to. I don't know how to. Okay, all right. Well, ah, it's so bright. All right. Um. So I feel like something is supposed to go here. We can't quite interact with it yet, because I don't think we've interacted enough with what's going on here. So let's read this note. Come on. It appears to be a page from the manuscript. Pop morality is too relevant on emotions, or reliant on emotions, and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that is as that is as a ferris, that I maintain that it is a ferris, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, su subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. See, that's interesting, interesting article there. But does science prove moral or immoral subjects? Like, is science the the thing that we look to. I don't think science is always moral. Because if if we use science for moral, like like to decide if something was moral or not, like cruel animal like punishment and stuff, that would just be that would be like, ah, oh, you're allowed to do it because we do it in science. Oh, there it is. When I was 15 year old, when I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably. What? I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt the same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar, which I'm guessing is where we are now. Um, what are these nails that are just lying around? I don't know what they are. I just said they're nailed, and I said I don't know what they are. Is this cobwebs? Ooh, so many cobwebs. So can I exit? Oh, that's exiting the game. Damn it! <laughs> God. All right. Well, let's start. Let's start back where we left off. All right. So I'm just gonna go and click through these notes again because I feel. Can I crouch? No, I can't crouch. The, cr the controls are very simple. All right. I don't know if this affects anything. Ah, it's so bright. I like the orange though. I'm not gonna look at this. Hold on. Look at that. It's beautiful. Orange is my favorite color, so it kind of makes. I mean, if you couldn't figure it out, but the, from the fact that my logo is orange. <laughs> Um, oh, I should probably grab the flashlight, actually. That would be smart. So I guess whenever this this thing becomes, um, like, large, I guess, is when I can interact with something. I don't really know what I can interact with here, though. There's a note here that says whatever. I don't know what it says. What does it say? Oh, yeah. Damn her. Um, come on. 
This is, you walk really slow in this game. Okay, let's see what this is. Are these knives? These are knives. I'm gonna have to face the uh, face the light in order to read this one. Come on. It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm really not in the mood. I dist I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and ther theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I am not depressed, I am enlightened. This is the result of the of two decades of scientific education and philo philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. This game is pretty cool, actually. It's, it's it's posing interesting stuff. I like it. But I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Ooh, what is this cheeky door? What is this, though? I want to read this first. I feel like I can. I should be able to interact with this. Okay. Oh, it's a generator. I feel like. What is this? Hello. Let's go in there, Mike. All right. So I think I have to find a key or something. Goddamn son of a gun! I'm gonna have to find a key. Where would the key be? I can't crouch, by the way. Did I yeah, like I said, I can't crouch. It's just WASD and then click that to interact. See, there's nothing here that I can interact with. I don't know why they, um, the developer chose um, a very Minecraft... <gasps> what is this? What's happening? My daughter's name, right? I think that's what I have to do. Is that the name? That is not the name. Um, I don't. I don't know. I have to find a girl's name. We have to find. Wait, 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 wait. Did he say it in this letter? I feel like he may have. Katie. That's what it is. I. <laughs> I took a random guess. I don't know why I did that, but. All right. Let's go get Katie. Katie. Oh God. Hold on, there we go. Dude, your daughter's name is Katie. Maybe I can just go through. A oh, fun suck, god damn it! Are you kidding me? I spent that much time in there and the doors are locked the entire time? God damn. Should at least turn green or something. Damn, man. What is this? I would have a secret cellar in my freaking basement. This is my survival bunker. What does this say? It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos, is a chaos of thunder and screams. And then the ashes settle. Oh, and when the ashes settle, we will be wild animals again. I am aesthetic. What? No, a cast. A, what? Ecstatic. There we go. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been uh, I haven't been able to reach land for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was when, here when I start when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because of my, we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed: freedom from all the irrational rules and in and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. So, now the world's ended. This game has really went somewhere. <laughs> this is just... Where did... What's happening? Um... So, how do I open this, please? Hello. I want to open it, please. There's literally nothing I can interact with here. I'm very limited with what I can do. Dang it! What's happening? <gasps> there is another note. I box up everything that is practical and useful. I burn all the books that weren't for, for scientific education. Uh, I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them... Okay, my screen just blacked out. There we go. But I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them 
uh, up near the hatch. The blood would probably... Oh, the blood would probably ruin them anyway. The blood? What blood? So these are all important stuff, apparently, according to this guy. Oh, there's another cheeky note here. Hello? Can I read you? All right. The tool room has been uh wait has been her name for years now and I can't bring myself to change it. Tool? Wait, what? Tool room has been her name for years now and I can't change, bring myself to change it. So this is the tool room. Hold on. So I think it's Lynn, right? He said Lynn. Lynn. All right, I'm gonna try Lynn. L Y N. Is it L Y N N? I just I'm so bad. I'm so sorry. Lynn. All right, L Y N N. That's all I need. L Y N N. Let's hope it worked, cause I don't want to be walking back and forth all the time. I wonder how the world ended, though. With a game like this, it's probably something. I actually had, I have no idea. Um, pff, I don't know how the world would have ended. Zombies, maybe? Aha! I am a genius! I am a genius. Alright, let's walk from this corner and try to see what we can find. There's a wrench. There is a wrench, my friend. Can't reach that. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. NNY. The rest of the world is missing. What? And then why? Wait, what? The storage room. What? Change the storage room code to something I can easily remember. And then why the rest of the world is missing. Wait, the world or word? Word. And then why? The rest of the word is Okay, I'm I'm an idiot. Okay. And then why? That's the storage room I'm guessing, so I'm gonna have to go in there. And I, why do I have so many notes just lying around? I must be like the most sporadic writer in the world. Uh, there are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. I've never nearly, well, it's been nearly a year since I've, been, I've seen a woman. And now I realize that there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. Dude, what? All right, this is going down a dark path. I'm not gonna say what it is, just in case if it's not actually what I think it is. But I, th hopefully, you guys are getting the right theme that I'm getting. But this is going down some weird routes. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures, and we're barely able to find food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in the case the generator goes out again. It helps break up the monotony. I yearn the excitement for those first weeks. What is happening, dude? This game is actually really interesting. It's getting my... It's getting my interest peaked. So... NNY. Oh! Why? Maybe it's laying backwards. Let's try that one. N N Y L. Let's hope. That's all we can do. It's time for the moment of truth with this flashlight. That's yes. I am a genius indeed. All right. I am a bag of DNA and I exist to make my, uh, more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because, and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect our genes. Dreams, loves, 
loves, op opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial imagination, fleeting electrical signals the fire uh, that fire across our synth synthapsis uh, for a pointless moment of time, moment in time. They used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth. For all I know, they're ready to be freed from them. Wait, what? Here I am, the last man on earth. For all I know, ready to be freed by them. Okay. I'm surprised I read that with very minimal um, <laughs> stuttering. Not stuttering. Confusion. Usually, oh, what is this cheeky button? Usually that's what happens. Is I just... If you guys watch my videos with where I read a lot, you, you know what I mean. I think this should be open now. Mother trucker! What did that open? <gasps> Wait. Is this... Is that what I think was? I think I have to go up again. Is this something happened on other... There it is! Yes, yes, yes! I am a genius indeed. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely moved in. I don't know what... I don't know what that means, though. There's another note here, though. What is that? <gasps> finger bones! The cellar is freedom. Why are there finger bones here? Damn it. Don't know what's happening. I don't know why. Why are there... That's, I'm guessing that's the reason why it's called finger bones, but... Still completely lost. Damn, so... I need to get the bunker open, but the bunker password... There is no password for the bunker, right? As far as I know. Goddamn son of a bitch! Cellar is freedom. Maybe it's freedom. Let's find out. I'm so lost, like... It's cool that... Uh, I'm so confused. Like, I, for a second, I feel like I know what I'm doing in this game, and then I'm like, nah, not really. Nah, just completely lost, as usual. Do I have to collect these finger bones? So what did I do to her? Huh? The seller is freedom. Let's try freedom, I guess? You know what? Actually, ready? Freedom. If that doesn't work, I also want to try... E-I-T-A-K? Wait, right? K-A-K-A-T-I-E. Katie, yeah. Just in case. Don't ask me why. I think we're close to the game. Or uh, close to the game, yes. Wow. Wow. I am good at English. I think we're close to the end of the game. Is what I meant to say. Please be the. Oh my, my God! I don't know which one worked, but one of those worked. What is this? There's only enough food for one, so she's gonna have to die now, or going to die. Wait, what? There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway. And I'm free now. Freedom. It took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. Honey, you still here? What a fucked up person I am. Oh! It seems to have been torn from a diary. She's finally, oh, she finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, uh, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in a safe in, in the safe upstairs. I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. Wow, that was messed up. The, f the father didn't know why why he'd come back for all that. what the father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years starving and tired he just wanted to see the cellar one last time with one last flicker the flashlight died and he was left in the pitch black oh in the pitch dark he sat down in the cold floor and closed his eyes he could still hear her uh, and i'm free here in the cellar it's peaceful it's peaceful what it's peaceful here in the cellar it's free now in the cellar that was finger bones for you guys i'm actually just going to keep this i'm going to put that right there uh 
Finger Bones. Really, really weird game. Not gonna lie. Um, I'm glad I played it. I'm gl I can see why this game's gotten some good reviews because it's very interesting. It's a very interesting psychological horror game. Um, but that was messed up, man. That was that was good. I like that game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as well. I like the sound. The only thing I will say that the game didn't do so well is the fact that I had to walk back and forth and back and forth, and I felt like it was kind of like to draw out the fact that there was a very short game, um, because all you have to do is read read a couple of notes, enter um, Katie and then Lynn and then N N Y L or Lynn backwards and then Katie backwards or Freedom one of one of those. And you're in. And uh, so basically, for those of you who don't know the story or don't understand the story, basically, the world ended. This guy killed his own daughter and stuff like that. It's been years after that, but he came back and he died. I guess where he's dying in the cellar now. But anyway, that was Finger Bones for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, be sure to hit that like or below. Subscribe if you guys do more awesome videos. If you guys have any other more games like this you guys want to check out, then feel free to leave them in the or in the comments below. Uh, check out the description for more awesome videos, playlists, and stuff like that. Thanks for watching. My name is Kane. I will see your beautiful faces on the flip side.